because we have been saved by the gospel, changed by the gospel, transformed by the gospel. Therefore, we ought to be living in agreement with the gospel. But here's the blessedness. Christ enables believers to live out the gospel. He enables and empowers our walk to add up. Without him, we can do nothing. And therefore, as we run the Christian race, we ought always to be looking on to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of the faith. Because this word, let your conversation, that phrase also in the Greek language is termed, and what it's known as, the middle voice. And what that means is this, you must do it yourself. You are enabled by Christ. You must read your Bible. You must seek the Lord in prayer. You must get to the house of God. Paul saying, let your conversation be. Let your conduct be. Your manner of living be. This is what you can do. Why? Because you've been empowered to. You've been set free to do so. You've been liberated by Christ to live the gospel. And therefore, for a child of God who doesn't want to live the gospel, then they can't be a child of God. Because the one who has been transformed by the gospel will live the gospel. When you have these people coming around saying, it doesn't matter how we live, we're just going to heaven. That's not the gospel. Because when someone's saved by the gospel, they're transformed by the gospel. It's a new life, a new manner of living, a new manner of thinking. And so Paul here is saying to them, you're changed by the gospel. You will live by the gospel. Paul is making this point. If you profess the gospel,